Welcome back, dear learners. Before the ad break, we did an interesting calculation, percentage operating profit on sales. We calculated it, we compared two years, 2022 and 2023, and we commented. But the interesting part was in the commenting. When we were commenting, we mentioned the name, the trend, and the figures. So that is what we do when we do our analysis and interpretation of financial statements. Here are new words and language that we've learned in today's class. Operating efficiency. It is the ability of a company or organization to utilize its resources effectively in generating profits or achieving its goals. You have to take this very, very seriously, dear learners, that the formula sheet for the financial indicators will be provided for you at the back of your question paper. However, I encourage you not to over-rely on it. You have to know the formulas properly before you go to the exam. It is very important for you to know the formulas, but you can only know the formulas by regularly practicing. When commenting on financial indicators, it is important to state the name of the financial indicator, the trend, as well as the figures. I have a challenge question for you, and it reads, Busi, the owner of Busi Music Studios, is worried about the ability to pay short-term debts. Name one financial indicator that Busi can calculate to determine the business's ability to pay its short-term debts. Thank you so much for joining me in today's class. I hope to see you again soon. It is goodbye. Thank you.